He's been messing me for a while now. And I'm going to tell you, church, that once we begin to understand our why, I want you to tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, why are you here? Why did you give your life to the Lord? Once we understand our why, then it doesn't matter about who's preaching. It doesn't matter about what's being taught. All that matters is that I got to get to the house of the Lord because why? I know that his presence is here. I know that there's a word for me. Amen. And tonight we're going to talk about that why. Amen. Amen. If I had to entitle this message tonight, it would be called, Remember Why You Dropped Your Net. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, neighbor, neighbor. Remember, remember why you dropped your net. Why you dropped your net. Mm. And so when we understand our why as a church, how many of you know that then we'll begin to do some things, not because of what we're doing or because of how we're doing it, because why God called us to do it. Amen. Amen. We talked about this in the men's fellowship classes that in men's fellowship, we encourage the men to come early to service so we can get into praise and worship. Sometimes us as people, and I won't just say men, we'll come at 11 o'clock knowing that praise and worship is already over. Because we don't understand the why of praise and worship. You see, the why of praise and worship is very simple. The why of praise and worship is, is after you go through a week of going through all that trials and tribulation and life just beating down on you and you come to service, you still have some of that on you. The why is that sometimes even before you go to church, you might be arguing with your husband, you might be arguing with your friend or your wife or your children, and then you come into church at 11 o'clock and you expect to hear the word, but you can't hear the word because you're going through some things and your mind is not on Christ, on, but your God, mind is on that situation or that circumstance. You might have a bill that's due or a pain in your body on, and you come into the word amen but you don't have your mind on the word of God you have your mind on your problem you have your mind on your situation you have your mind on your circumstance and when the word comes forth you can't magnify the word you got to magnify your situation because you are not in a place come on pastor so the reason why praise and worship is important because I can bring all that garbage into praise and worship with my brother and my sister because the Bible says that when two or more are gathered in his name, that he is in the midst. And when he is in the midst, all that garbage can't exist. The Bible says that God inhabits the praises of his people. So my God, if I can inhabit the praises of his people, if I can join up with my brother and sister, then I know that God is in the presence and where God's presence is. These things can't exist. And now my mind can get right. Now my heart can get right. Now my attitude can get right. Now I'm not thinking about that argument. Now I'm not thinking about that bill. And now my situation is not as big as my God because my God can do all things. So when a man of God delivers the word of God, I can hear the word of God. Yes. But I'm too busy texting about what this brother said or what this person did. I'm too busy Facebooking about what's going on because I can't get focused. But when I can come before the presence of the Lord and say, here I am. Father, you have your way. Let me worship you. Let me just give you praise. Let me give you glory. Let me give you honor. We sing that song, Worth. You did it for me when I was unworthy. But right about now, I'm fixing my eyes on my situation instead of what you did in my life. Praise and worship is important. Why? Because it ushers us into the presence of God. Why is it important so we can hear the word of God, so we can receive the word of God? That when we leave here, we just didn't clock in the church. But we heard the word and it empowers us. What was That was a great service last week. But what was spoken about it? Well, I don't, I don't know about that. i got to look at the video. But I know that we danced and shout. Well, you can dance and shout in the club, too. But that don't mean the word's being preached. But what does the word say? What does say it? The Lord is important. That's why praise and worship is important. Praise and worship is important because that means you got to come to this church early. That means you got to get dressed early. That means your kids got to say, man, mom, and dad, why are we getting up early? Because we got to go to praise and worship. Because we got to get into the presence of the Lord. Because we got to give God his glory so we can be able to focus on the word of God. Oh, I understand now, dad. I understand, mom. Now we're teaching and training and developing and sending out. Amen. Amen. But we got to know our why because if not 11 o'clock works good for me, that means I'm in, a, I'm in church for about an hour and I'm out. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Okay. But the reason why it's important because it prepares our hearts Amen. to receive Amen. the word of God. That's good. That's good. When we understand our why, then our duty why? doesn't become just a duty where we clock in. Yes. Come on, somebody. When we understand our why, then the greeters will greet at the door joyfully because why? 
Somebody needs to hear your, uh, hear your voice. Somebody needs to see your face. Somebody needs to get your handshake. Somebody needs to be stopped sometimes and say, let me pray for you, brother. You know, because there's a God inside of me. Silver and gold have I none, but what I got, I'm going to give to you. Yeah. Right at the door before yeah. they even get into service. There is a why that we do what we do. Amen. When we form the choir together, it's not just to sing a song. It's just not to play some music, but it's to come together collectively. Amen. And to magnify the name of the Lord yeah. and to be able to uplift him. Amen. And who he is once we understand our why. Yes, sir. Yes. 